everyone. My name is Wendy and I work at the Denver Museum at Miniatures, Dolls, and Toys. And today we are going to turn binder clips into handbags. Um, this one goes out to our friend Emily from um, one of our nonprofit groups. So thank you for the request. Uh, what we're going to need today is some binder clips. Um, you know, think how big your, your, your handbag should be. So this one might be kind of a good Barbie size. I've also got a little bitty one that we could probably use in a dollhouse. Um, so we're going to need that. We need some glue. Um, this is tacky glue. Um, and we're going to need some fabric. If you don't have fabric, I haven't done it with paper, but you could probably do it with paper. Just make sure you really cut those edges. Um, and if you use something like tissue paper, then um, it, you know you might get a really cool effect and um, be able to give it a little texture. So let me know if you try that. But let's get going. So this isn't the hardest craft in the world. Um, you can either use these big silver parts as you know the part that goes over the arm, which works well for a Barbie, um, or you can just sort of pinch and pull them out. Um, and if you don't have strong enough hands, then ask someone to help you. I'm gonna do this bigger one because, well, this is real tiny. Um, I actually first saw this done from a volunteer named Suzanne. She makes beautiful Harry Potter miniatures. Um, they're some of our favorites to display. So I've gotta pick my fabric. And while I like balloons, oh, well, I kind of like that. It gives it like a cool, you know, different kind of vibe. So that's in the running. I think this is a little too, I don't know. That's just not me today. Um, I like this yellow check. It's kind of fun, pretty snappy. Um, who doesn't like a red bag? You know what? I think I might go for this, for this print. I've got a couple other colors here, but they seem kind of, like they lack a challenge. So um, I'm gonna decide, do I like stripes? I think I like this weirdness here. So I'm just gonna, you know, wrap it around. So it's gonna look kind of odd over here, but I think I like odd in a good way. Um, so I've got some scissors, which I guess I didn't mention, but you know, mistakes were made. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut out a little bit bigger than I need. I always like to cut with a little bit of um, leeway. And that way, you know, if you've really messed up, um, you can fix it. And what I'm gonna do is um, just take my glue. Um, you could probably trim it really exact and then glue it or you can do the opposite. I'm just throwing caution to the wind here. Um, oopsies, I like that. that looks, that's gonna look pretty cool, I think, like a, a trendy summer vacation bag. Um, like a pretty good one. And we're just gonna glue it all the way around. Um, I always use a glue that dries clear because I make mistakes a lot. Um, all right. Oops, I guess I probably could have cut this. Cut this, trim it. And then this really, I think I'm just gonna tuck all my like extra edge up under the curl. I don't know if you can see, there's like a little bit of a curl and I'm just gonna tuck both sides up under that edge to give it like a real nice finished look. Um, and then there's kind of two different ways I've seen this done. One, you could cut, just cut the edge blunt and leave it hollow. Um, that's fun I think if you're playing a lot and you want to be able to take things in and out of your trusty handbag. 
The other way is to fold it all nice and neat and glue it. Um, and you could even stuff it or put a piece of like hard paper there um, to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to attempt this sort of um, folded cloth and that way if I mess it up really badly I can I can go back to my my idea of I'm leaving it open so my 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 toy can uh, carry things around with them um, I was always a big My Little Pony fan um, and I think what's fun about making your own handbag is that you can decide how much of a um, how much of a handle you want. All right, so that's going to be a little bit tricky to get dry. You might have to sit it down on one end um, for a little bit or hold it. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. It's like, look out, Kate Spade, we're coming for you. Um, yeah, so this will be, yeah, I'm into it. So I have two ideas on um, how to do a handle. Like I said, you could just squeeze back in this. I like a soft handle because I think it's a little, I don't know, it, it, I think it's just easier to work with. Um, and I have this great yellow thread and I have this great sort of burgundy thread and I think I might, I thought I was going to do yellow, but I think I like this, this burgundy. So I'm just going to thread that through. Let's see how I do. Um, you might also to be able to do it a little bit like flossing your teeth. So you like come up in underneath. Oh, already got too much fabric in there, but um, sometimes you can. It all just depends on, uh, all right. So there's one. I am not a great threader. I'm either really good at it or it takes me forever. I'm always so impressed by seams, uh, seamstresses and tailors and all the professional level sewers out there. Um, we have a friend in the museum named Bonnie who is just such a stunning, stunning quilter. And we have an, well, Bonnie and Libby are stunning quilters. And then we have another, uh, well, Bonnie made all of her girls Barbie clothes when they were little. She actually just donated them to us. So I'm hoping to get those processed so we can share them. All right, so you can decide how you want this top. Um, you could make it more finished. I'm gonna tie it in just a knot because this is my casual summer bag. Let's see if we can get this a little more even. Um, I'm gonna tie it in a knot. It's like a little, all right, there we go guys, I did it. There we go, I did it. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut this off um, and here we go. This is our adorable little handbag. And you could jazz it up with beads. Um, a little bead would look like a nice little clasp um, or a piece of paper or another scrap that you have hanging around. So get creative and I hope you have a good time.